SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, Wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Chargers. This one started, and we are underway in Southern California. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early. We're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Gets him a first down. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he stopped immediately there. It was Sebastian Joseph who got him down defensively. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Herbert now on second down. On the screen, this is Eckler. And down inside the 15 he goes. A gain of 13, it's a first down. 
I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards to pick up there. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. They go back to the ground now with Eckler, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Kelly to try to punch it in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Short of the goal line. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer at him again. Second and goal from the one. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. up at the 25. First and 10. The Rams taking the field and leading the way. The man from Cal, the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. But bottom line, he wants to put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And he'll throw right away. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. 23 yards, the final tally. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. 
and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Golf gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. That catch good for only a couple. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That catch good for five. It's third down. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating, and they should have other things open up as well. From the gun on third down, gone. That's into the hands of Akers complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Decision made for Sean McVay. They're going to go for it. They go ahead and snap it. Goal. And he's got it. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So often you hear that pep talks don't really work in the heat of the battle. But collectively, this defense has to say to each other, we've been on our heels this whole first drive. This is where we need to dig in. And they got a nice stop right there for a loss on first and goal. at the four, here's second and goal. There's goal. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they're throwing it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. 
Now Goff on third and goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Josh Reynolds there to make the grab. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied had it each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away fielded just outside the goal line and takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 their own 26 yard line the Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well, where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the yeah, ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he powers his way up past the 30. Number 30. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second down, here's Herbert. That's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. At the 40-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. The score tied seven to seven. on first down, Eckler. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Wide open receiver complete. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. So 
from Rams territory now. It's first and 10 at the 34. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Chargers, first down. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. will give this one to Eckler. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. His throw incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Kelly. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. Field goal, a 32-yard attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through, and the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. The score, Chargers 10, Rams 7. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Simba Webster on the return. The Rams take over first and 10. At their own so the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 26. He starts with a give to Akers. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 27th, Goff. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. From the gun, here's Gall. 
and this is going to be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. You give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense? So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Watch out for Hill on the return. Nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Rams ready to go on offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. get two here stopped at the 30. It's a game of matchups and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch especially your best guys and when they work out of the slot you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in that makes it hard to defend. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert on the pressure from the Rams defense. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Here's Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. To throw on second down. Herbert. He's got a man wide open, complete. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Here's Herbert. And right side, Henry's got it. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. To Hunter Henry. A seven yard. How about the timing on that one, where they were in sync, weren't they? Three step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Herbert now. That is incomplete. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. 
brings up third down and three yards to go. Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Again, Herbert. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. But we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, there you go. Herbert on first down now. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 14-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Herbert throwing again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. The Chargers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And this is complete, it's Allen. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They're able to convert on third down and then sets up a first and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line, Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Out of the gun, Herbert. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. Badgley able to punch this one through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Ram seven. That will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick. 
right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. Ty Long converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Over first and 10 at their own 20. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. Yeah, especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. On first down, gone. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A shotgun snap for Gone. where they'll take over. The Chargers you're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Operating from the gun, Herbert. Seven seconds to go in half number one. On first down, it's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, Herbert. Incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To the air again, Herbert. Snuffing coverage there pushes this to fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. On for the field goal, a 41-yard attempt. Badgley's kick is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16 to 7. 16, Ram 7. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, 
but still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Time long converted to field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. yard line. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun. Golf. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And that one, a first down pickup of eight. Rams. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. up here first and 10 at their own 28 yard line now acres to start the third quarter on the ground able to shake free for about seven up to the 35 you know despite the score line i think they've got to like where they are here they're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game i'm gonna follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense they've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Now Goff on first down. 
They'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. That catch good for only a couple. To Cam Akers. Out of bounds at the 42-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run here with Akers. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 16 yards, a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Back to throw, gone. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time, and it's third down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Now gone. Complete. That's Woods. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. He's taken well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. 16, Ram 7. Chargers offense, they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Ball carrier. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here 
Here's Herbert now on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 yards, a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. First down, it's Kelly, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The defensive player of the year a season ago, Aaron Donald, the one to stop him in his tracks. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Second down, here's Herbert. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Through the sideline, that's taken in by Allen. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Here's Ty Long now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no one there to stop it. Hits it the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 20. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. yard line. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first and 10, gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. Complete. Give him nine Josh there Reynolds. on the first down completion. Again, Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that line. slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 
is incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, and it's third and short. Had an open man that time, they end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. On the ground, it's Akers. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. From just shy of midfield, golf. And incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Kenneth Murray on the coverage. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Gone. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Goff now looks to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 10 more there and another first down. Rams. They'll run this with Akers. Down right around the 25. Cam Akers, the In Rams on the tackle, the former All-Pro Chris Harris. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 25 on second down, Goff throwing the out route incomplete. That's Woods. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 15-yard line. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Cam Akers. Give him nine there. on the carry that time, and they're he set up with a second and one. Harris. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the Chargers' five-yard line. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's gone. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Nick Vigil just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coach, you always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. But they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. on third down. They've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and eight. To throw is gone. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drives incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. Well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 29-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And the deficit trimmed to six now at 16-10. Chargers, 16 Rams 10. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. And this carries into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. the shotgun. Here's Herbert. To the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. But it's going to be second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, Herbert. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three yards the gain there. Second down. Brings up second and seven at the 40-yard line. Again, Herbert. First down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. 
They'll run here with Eckler, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Eckler, the ball carrier. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out, or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. From the 50, here's Herbert. As he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's Ty Long now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Their own 28 yard line. LA set to take over again on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. up here first and 10 at their own 28 yard line from the gun he'll set up the throw and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield Robert Woods a really nice gain of 25 yards and at this stage down in the second half looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker and they did I think you're exactly right I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well he's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described looking down at that sheet you find people plays not necessarily X's and O's and that's exactly what they did there so from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. A shotgun snap for Gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he's taken down inside the 30. 18 more yards there and another first down. But we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, gone. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To the air again. Golf. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A little tough on the secondary there, in zone defensively. Quarterback had time to survey and find a spot. And if you want to change things up and put a little more pressure on him, you can go to man coverage. Everyone matches up and send more pressure. But you can also do it out of zone coverage if you're worried about what's going to happen on your back end. 
you send someone else, drop someone else out of the line, the old zone blitz could come into play to try and get that pressure on the quarterback. And he's going to have a Rams first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's gone. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him up to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete that one whistled against a big right tackle you'd think being able to fire out and block it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty but it's tough to keep those guys right in front isn't it Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Back to throw, gone. A quick pass to Cup. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They go ahead and snap it. Go on. And that is it. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Aaron, the all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. It's Eckler again. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. 
And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. It's fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offense. Oh, they come out, and the Rams with a score. Touchdown. Touchdown, Rams. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And it is good. So they take the lead, and now the pressure falls on their defense to try and hold on. Well, not only did they block it, the awareness to go and grab it and then take it into the end zone for six points. Touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers down 17-16. A minute 54 on the clock. And the fourth down stop gives them a new lifeline, at least for the moment. It's Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Henry. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play. Herbert's Seven yards, the pick up there. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Clock rolling here, under 90 seconds to go. Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Get his three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it, I'd use one right here. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Herbert. That's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. Partney got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Trying to hurry to the line on the very outside. 
outskirts of field goal range. Back to throw. And he's going to find that man yet again. Keenan Allen. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Herbert operating from the red zone. They find Williams on the slope. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. now how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal a field goal would give them the late lead off the play fake to Eckler it's Herbert dancing to his and he can't get it through he's taken down Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. A 27-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. 17. Well, it's no secret. That's why they haven't returned punts. He has the capability to take them back, and he did so there. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out how they remain so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because I'm up here shaking like a leaf and I wasn't the one who had to make that kick. They look calm, but I bet if you had a heart rate monitor on it, <laughs> it'd be up in the 300s right now. Long converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. On the return comes Webster. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because... Now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you go to the film and find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Seven well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. Just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everybody.